What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, then welcome. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on your bells. Now, hey, beauties, what's going on? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this Oreo hair color. And this video is pretty lengthy, so we're going to jump straight into it. Now, for starters, I'm using Royal Navy in the color Jet Black. And I actually got this color Jet Black technique from Slay by Jordan. If y'all know him, y'all should know him because he's one of the goats here on YouTube and in the hair game, period. And that's also my boo. So, yes, lot of, uh, shout out to you, Jordan, period, poo. And um, today I'm going to be creating the Water Method um, Jet Black Color. But for starters, I'm going to start by taking my wig and dipping it in the Royal Navy by itself. Just so it could, um, you know, just so it could darken up the natural um, brown color that the wig comes in. And this is a 5x5 HD lace closure wig from my uh, raw hair collection. And no, it's not on my website yet, but I will take the time out soon and update all the lace closure wigs to my site. But for right now, if you do have a closure wig from any brand that you purchase from and you would like to create the same look, you can do so as well. But um, after dipping the wig into that Royal Navy, I'm now going to take one bottle of that jet black color and I'm not changing the water or anything. I'm just pouring that same jet black color into that water that was already royal blue. And I'm taking one and a half bottles of that jet black and I'm just going to mix it all around with hand, you know. But um, ladies, if you do not want to mess up your nails or your cuticles, make sure you guys have you some gloves. I did not have any, so... You know, it is what it is, but um, just a cute, you know, a few cute notes. If you do not want to stain your lace, make sure that you mix that color around in that sink, your bowl, whatever you are using, and make sure there's no lumps of color in that water because if it is, that is what stains your lace. And also, you want to be very quick and swift when you are doing this. So as you can see, I'm not letting the closure sit in the water for too long. I'm just dipping the wig in and out the water. Um, and I'm just going to do that for probably like 15 minutes or so. Um, I did not show the whole complete process because um, we have to do three different colors to achieve this look. So I just want to give you guys like the basic, um, you know, information on how to, you know, do this. But I did repeat this step many, many times. And I also went in with a comb and just comb through that wig just to make sure that jet black color is on there. But just remember, do not let your lace wig sit completely under there. Just continue to dip your wig, comb through it, make sure the hair get on the strands. And another thing I did to make sure that color sat on there is what um, is once I was done, um, you know, dipping it and stuff, I did not shampoo it out right away. I just let it sit with that color and everything on it until um, I I was done coloring the other two bundles and that is also another way I was able to make sure that my hair came out jet black so just take those few little tips and it will make a big difference for you so I'm going to let that color sit on there like I mentioned and as you can see the hair is black and the lace is not stained so moving right along to our next color just quickly I'm going to wash out the sink because I do not want that black color or any residue from that black color to mess up the blonde bundles now i know some guys have requested that i do some videos with um you know like hair store hair so even though i am using a raw hair closure wig for my collection i decided to buy a um hair store pack hair blonde bundle and it's from the brand rio um if you heard of it before you know it's like one of the top you know cheap good quality, um, you know, hairs from the hair store versus like using the regular pack hair. Um, you can use like the Rio uh, virgin hair and you know, it would do just fine. Same thing with pack hair, regular pack hair that's blonde also colors just as well. So it don't always have to be, you know, like raw hair, virgin hair from like vendors. But however, today I'm gonna be using one bundle of this blonde hair and it is a 24 inch my closure wig is a 26 inch they didn't have 26 so i just got a 24 but no worries it all blended out just fine 
So what I'm going to do is I want to get those yellow tones out of the hair. So all I do is fill up the sink with some fresh warm water and I poured some purple sham uh, shampoo into the water. And also with this, you want to make sure that you do mix around all of that shampoo because you do not want no purple stains on your blonde hair. And that is a common mistake that a lot of beginners make. You want to make sure you always mix that color or that shampoo up and um, you could go ahead and begin to dip the hair and dip the hair. And even with the purple shampoo, you can let it sit in the water, but you do wanna monitor that. That way you do not have like that purple tint in the hair. So after finish, um, I finished dipping this uh, 24 inch um, hair store bundle into that shampoo water. I'm actually gonna take some scissors and cut that bundle in half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave half of that bundle the blonde color after being dipped into the purple shampoo to get rid of the yellow tones. And then with that other half, I'm actually going to water dye it gray. And I'm going to be using the Adore dye in the color platinum. And you got to be very mindful when you're using that platinum because if you apply too much um, of that color, your hair can come out purplish. But I really wanted to make sure that I did a little color at a time to make sure that I get that perfect gray tone. So right here, like I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and take some scissors and I'm going to cut that bundle in half and I'm going to put half away and I'm going to focus only on one half of this bundle. So in the meantime, between time, we still have the jet black color sitting on the wig. We have not rinsed that out yet but I did go ahead and rinse out the shampoo off of this piece of the bundle and the other half as well because now we're going to dip half of it in that platinum color. So when you're doing that, you do wanna once again rinse out your sink and fill it up with some more warm water. And then I'm gonna take that platinum dye and just pour a little bit at a time. Like when you are doing the gray color, work your way into it. Start off with a little bit and dip it, dip it, dip it. Let the hair soak up all that color. And um, if it does not come out the color that you want, you can gradually add a little bit more color at a time. And I just wanna make a quick correction. I said that I was using Adore's um, Platinum, but I'm actually using Temptation's uh, Platinum Color, and it's by the Kiss brand. So disregard that, I am using the Temptation's Platinum Color um, for this part here and as you can see I just took one little uh, drop of that color and I'm just mixing it around in the sink with the hair and the hair started to you know turn gray but it wasn't gray enough for me so I'm going to gradually add a little more color into that water and just keep mixing it around until I get that desired gray look so I took another little blob and I'm mixing it right on in with my hand and once it's all mixed in, I will continue to dip the hair in and out of that water combination. So once I get that desired look, I will go ahead and shampoo and condition all of the hair, that's including the jet black wig, that blonde um, hair piece, and now this silver hair piece. And I'm going to shampoo and condition all of it. Um, and I will be using the uh, Tresemme shampoo and conditioner because after you shampoo your hair, you do wanna make sure that you do condition it and you know put all the little nutrients and softness back into the hair so i'm not going to show that part on the video because this part here was already pretty lengthy so you guys will see that once i get that desired color i'm just gonna you know wash everything um condition it and move right along so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then once i come back on i will show you guys the finishing look of each piece which is right here. I went ahead and took the black wig, blow dried it and flat ironed it and kind of like pre-parted it down the middle. And right here is the two half of the bundles. Remember I told you guys I dyed one um, gray, I keep saying silver, silver gray, potato, potato, y'all get it. <laughs> so I dyed one half of that bundle, that silver gray color and I did the other one plain blonde. So here is pretty much part two of this video and this is actually getting the highlights 
to get into the wig. Now, this is very beginner friendly because if you are not a person like me who do not want to sit there and take hours just to highlight blonde and gray pieces, this is a perfect way to create any highlighted look in your wig without having to do hard labor work, okay? So you can literally do this with any colors that you prefer, whether you want to do highlight blues, highlight purples, highlight pink. Just have your base color and then just have your blonde bundles on the side to, you know, dip them whatever color you want them to be. And you can just either sew the tracks in or glue the tracks in just to create that, like, highlighted look without the extra hard work. So trust me, this technique is bomb.com and saves you a lot of time, okay? So for starters, I went ahead and parted everything like the whole closure piece, everything that's in that closure piece, I went ahead and just kind of like, you know, clipped it out of the way because I'm going to take that very first track that lays right on top around the perimeter of that uh, closure part because remember all of this is tracks because it's the closure wig and just that part that I have sectioned off, all of that is lace for the lace closure part. So what I'm doing right now is taking one track and I'm using the silver hair and I'm just taking um, some 30 Second Pro Salon Blanc, uh, Bonding Glue and I'm just gluing uh, that silver track right on top of that track that, that's right there that meets up where, where, the, um, where the lace closure is. And I'm just going to firmly press that in, press that in, and that's already just one track of that gray and it's already given us the bomb highlight effect and I'm just going to comb that all in and you know you can blow dry it you know piece by piece it's up to you or you can glue everything in and then decide to um, you know blow dry it like I will do uh, shortly so now that we added that first track of that silver in I'm just going to go ahead and comb all around that closure because if you don't want it too extremely highlighted, just like add a track, comb it down, you know, see how you like it, see if you want to add more, see if you need to, you know, take something out. Like, just go piece by piece if you just want, like, a little peekaboo color and not so much of a full highlighted effect. But I did want more of a major highlight effect to really give off that Oreo color. So I went ahead and added that first track. And now I'm going to actually be gluing in between the hair on the lace part. Now, here's a key tip. When you are doing this, do not glue the track all the way to the very, very front of the hairline of the wig. You want to leave at least about an inch from the hairline of the wig back into the wig. Leave about an inch of hair space. That way you can still create your baby hairs and everything like that. Do not glue it from the back of the closure to the front of the closure onto your hairline because then when it's time for you to glue your wig on, you will have tracks on your hairline. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit for you guys so you guys can see a bit better of what I, uh, what I mean as far as not gluing the track all the way to the hairline. as you guys can see right there I left about an inch of that space uh, towards the front of the hairline that way once I install my wig it is still melted it is still um, laced there and not tracked so I went ahead and added in that blonde track so now um, the first track was the silver track and then I added that second track as the blonde track so now I'm gonna go back one more time in with another silver track and honestly the blonde and the silver track blended so good and to be honest y'all i was kind of nervous about creating this wig because i always have these ideas in my head and then for some reason i feel like it's gonna come out terrible but then i still do it and it just be bomb i really gotta stop underestimating myself when it comes to these different looks that i've been wanting to try so just to those beauties out there if you want to try something just try it like at the end of the day as a stylist you have your full creativity to do whatever you please honestly so just do you okay y'all and i do see people who have negative comments about certain things that i do but at the end of the day 
y'all ain't stopping no checks over here, boo. So I'm still gonna do me and to you know to my beauties that support. I love y'all. To the haters, thank you for doing your job. You just giving me more reason to go harder. So yeah, um, just all my beauties out there, make your haters your motivators, and that's just on period. That's what we doing in 2021. So yeah. Um, however, um, this is what one completed side looks like. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit for you guys to see. And now I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same exact step to this side using that same color pattern. We had that gray track first, and then I'm going to go ahead and add in that blonde second track, and then the third track will be silver once again so remember um make a clean part place your track and also keep the track one inch away from your hairline and that way you will still have a melted uh, lace closure installed so once i go ahead and add the rest of that hair in we will actually begin the installation process So this is what our Oreo color is looking at, uh, looking like. And last but not least, we're gonna add one more track, and that will be um, from one side of the lace to the other side. And this just to give us some highlights in between the middle of the wig, because I was going to do two different styles with this hair. So I'm going to take both colors, um, the 613 and also the gray hair color and I'm going to double that weft at first at the top I was doing single wefts but to make it fuller and also give us both of those tones and combination I doubled the weft and I am doing um, I parted across the uh, closure wig and in between that spacing there I'm going to double a uh, glue those tracks there as you can see I went ahead and combed them out first and I'm taking the gray and the blonde and you know applying the um, glue to both tracks and then I'm going to lay it across the wig from side to side and then I will go on my uh, going with the blow dryer and just blow everything you know blow dry everything all together and then we'll begin the install so this is a quick simple easy way guys to create you some highlights in your wig let me know what you guys think about this method down below but in the meantime between time stay tuned for more
is looking like right on my head. I went ahead and kind of like pre-styled the wig and I flat irons it. And these highlights are looking bomb.com. So we're going to go ahead and get this transformation going. I already have my hair braided down and I also applied um, my growth oil into my braids already. So what I'm going to do now is take my lace prep, which is my 99% alcohol, and I'm going to go ahead and clean my hairline a few times. And then I will also use the skin protectant just to, you know, protect my scalp and skin from all of the chemicals and, you know, the adhesives and holding sprays and everything that I use to complete my installs. But this is a closure wig, so it's not, um, you know, like a full ear-to-ear -ear glued installation. But I just wanted to make sure I really cleaned my skin because I did you know put the um oil in my hair um before i had braided it down i kind of like moisturized my scalp and then blow dried my hair straight but now i'm gonna go ahead and take that blow dryer and just blow dry that skin protectant in it does give you that really nice dry feeling to let you know that your hair is clean and now i'm going to take my tresemme holding spray and i'm just really focusing on the center part i'm gonna um you know push back all of my edges but because this is a closure install my main focus is the center of my head so you want to make sure you just go ahead and push all of your natural edges back and out the way and then i'm going to take my um wig uh my beautiful hustler wig cap and i'm just going to use one of the caps I, I probably use both i don't know i just need to stuff my braids because you know your girl got length <laughs> but i'm going to go ahead and stuff those braids right under my cap and i'm just going to pull it down over like my forehead in the center just to create a quick centerpiece ball cap method now if you want to keep your wig secure to the t you can sew your cap down um, around the perimeter of your head, but just leave out the area where you're actually going to apply your lace. And the same thing with installing your closure wig, if you want to make it more secure on the sides, you can sew it down around the perimeter, ex you know, except for in the closure area. But I knew I wasn't keeping this in for too, too long. And, you know, I like to switch it real, real quick, like change the wigs like quickly. So I don't do the extra sewing everything down, but I do have a YouTube video on me sewing the closure wig all around completely. So just check out uh, my recent closure install videos and you will see it. But however, um, I'm taking one layer of the mega bottle of my lace made adhesive and I just sprayed it well not sprayed it but you know applied one layer across the center piece and i'm just going in with that tresemme holding spray as well and just blow drying all of that into place and then once that dries i will go ahead and cut the cap in the center and then apply my foundation color Now that the ball cap is ready, I'm going to take that same little piece of foundation and apply it on the inside of my um, HD lace closure wig and just right in the center and everything like that. And I will show you guys, you know, what it looks like in the inside because y'all know we did glue those tracks in between. But when you apply that foundation and don't use too much glue, don't be like glue heavy, like you just want to apply a little glue on a tracks when you're doing that um, glue on the closure area. But um, this is what it looks like after placing the wig onto my head. And I'm also gonna take advantage of the adjustable scraps in the bag. So I did go ahead and, you know, tighten the wig up in the bag that way. It can feel really, really tight and snug onto my head. And just coming through the wig, you guys can see how the highlights is 
giving the girls what it's supposed to give. Yes, yes, yes. I actually love this. Like, I was really nervous about doing this look, but it came out so pretty. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. But as you can see, I, like I was showing you guys here, that if you continue to place those tracks one inch behind the hairline, you are still able to hot comb your hairline back and, you know, create your baby hairs and melt your wig. So that's why I was stressing the fact that you must glue the tracks one inch behind your hairline. And before I begin to glue the wig down, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the thick straps around the closure. And then I will go ahead and begin to add my layers of adhesive. You can do as many layers as you like, but I always mention at the max um, layers I recommend is up to seven. And that's just if you're doing like water activities and water sports. But other than that, I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to apply my layers. And after each one dries clear, I will go ahead and you know add more and then begin to tack down my wig. I went ahead and applied all of the layers and I used my um, edge spreader to uh, spread the glue out. The key is to always spread your glue out as flat and as even as possible. And that will also help you with your glue drying clear way faster, okay? So uh, once I have all of that done and my last layer is clear, I went ahead and pulled my lace down right into that glue. And I'm going to take my blow dryer on the heat setting and just blow dry that lace right one down and then I will follow that step with my melt belt and take my melt belt and tie down my hairline. And after 10 minutes of time down there, Melt Bell, you just wanna go ahead and remove it. And now I'm gonna go in with my lace glider and begin to raise off that extra lace. I'm gonna use the comb side really quickly and just comb back any little flyaway hairs. And I just like to take my scissors and slit it down the middle, but you wanna go in with a fresh lace glider and just glide that um, razor right across the lace and it's going to remove all the extra lace off. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat those steps to the both sides. And then after that, if you have any places in your wig that you did not get to glue down, just go ahead and take your um, you know, comb or whatever, or just something nice and small. You can use the rat tail end of the second edge brush that comes in the edge brush package. 
and go ahead and use that glue and just apply it right underneath those places but i just want to let you know guys that um we just restocked so make sure you guys head over to my website and you can purchase all of my products we do have some packages available so if you're a natural kind of girl or you need your mega slay packages they are available on the site um I'm dropping this video the same day as the restock, so I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but hopefully you have your notifications turned on and you do not miss this post as well as the fact that we just restocked. So I'm gonna attach my website down below for all my new beauties. And to my returning beauties, you already know where to go. But yes, take advantage of the fact that I am doing this restock. And because we sell out fast, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, we always sell out fast. And I just want to make sure, you know, make sure you guys get your products in good timing. So make sure you head over to my website and you can purchase all of my products that I am using in my video. Once you have everything tacked down, you can go ahead and pull down a section that you're going to use for your baby hairs. And that's why for the million time, guys, I always say or I kept saying, make sure you have the tracks one inch behind your hairline. Because if you would have glued those tracks all the way up, it would have been no baby hairs for you to get. Your hairline would not have been melted because you would have had tracks at the very front of your hairline. So always remember at least about one inch away from your hairline and that way you can still melt your lace and create your baby hairs so that's what i'm doing right now and as you can see even after pulling my baby hairs down you still do not see the beginning of those tracks so that is how you get that seamless track installation okay so now that i'm doing that i'm just going to kind of straighten my part up you know and get everything ready to hot comb around my parting area and then i'm going to apply more foundation to my hairline spray with that tresemme holding spray and uh tie my hairline down again but oh most importantly to get that really nice sleek look at the top of your parting area you do need a wax stick so the wax sticks are also posted up on my side for that nice sleek and shiny look and do forgive me guys because i do have a um, mirror on the side of me so that's why i'm kind of looking sideways i just wanted to make sure that my part was in the middle and you know you got to get up close and personal sometimes but once i get it where i need it to be i will go ahead and begin to hot comb everything into place
And once again, you just want to let that melt belt sit on there for 10 minutes. So this is what it looks like. Super melted, super natural, and blended into the skin. So now I'm going to go ahead and comb out the hair so it is, um, you know, free and not stiff from the holding spray. And then I'm going to take a new product that I'm going to be releasing soon at my next restock. Not tonight's restock, but the very next one. And I will wait to mention what it is, but right now I will be using it to create some baby hairs. And I'm going to do one baby hair across the center and then the two little regular swoops. Nothing too crazy, nothing too dramatic. Um, not with this look here. So I'm going to take that uh, product and I'm also going to take um, my edge brush and go ahead and begin to swoop up my baby hairs. So now that I have my baby uh, hairs swooped and everything and it's giving very scalp and natural tease, I'm gonna go ahead and begin to prep my hair for the layers. So for the layers I'm gonna cut in the front, I will be using um, the lace glider razor end because I just want to razor the layers. I didn't want to do like harsh lines with the scissors. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, take my razor comb and begin to raise it down the layers in an angle and then curl it with my, you know, slightly bump the ends with my flat iron to give that curled look effect. And then once I do that, I will um, do my makeup, come back on, and then I will show you guys part three of me changing the layers look to a whole nother look. So keep watching. before I'm going to go in with that um, lace glider and just begin to angle down my layers um, you know kind of to just like give the face a frame and just to give that you know give more style to the not so just straight and even look so I'm just going to continue to uh, razor some layers going down diagonally and once I repeat this on both sides and I bump the ends I will go ahead go off camera do my makeup and then show you guys the transformation of looks with this video so keep watching
iron and just kind of like flat iron and bump your ends at the same time. So I'm gonna do that to both sides of my head so you guys can actually see the layers. I did not go to crazy because like I mentioned, I'm going to do a second look with this hair by curling it back um, like with my curling iron. So um, I just wanted to show you guys like two different looks you could create that's really pretty and bomb with this look. Um, a lot of people love the layer look and you know others love the curl look. So um, just to give you like I said some you know two different looks, some variety. You know, just you know some ideas you can do with just any highlighted wig period or you know custom highlighted wig look just to you know show you guys but as you can see i'm just going in with my flat iron and bumping those ends i'm just adding a little heat protectant to the hair you know to give it some little shine or whatever and so it don't be fried from you know applying so much heat so uh once i do that i'm just going to go in and clean up my layers just a little bit more and then i'm going to come back on and show you guys how i look after i beat my face um show y'all this look and then we will get into part three of the second look with this hair so keep watching And then I'm just going to place my rat tail end um, in the, like the comb part in the end, uh, the tail part in my parting area. And then I'm just going to spray, uh, spray around it using the uh, temporary hair color spray in the color black. And I'm just taking some holding spray on top and just going to blow dry that in to give my part that nice, clean, and straight look. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup so you guys can see the transformation and just stay tuned for part three where we actually curl this hair up for an additional style. Yes, I love this layer look. Yes, it is bomb, but I wanted to do a different look. So after I went ahead and did my makeup and got the hair pressed and I got dressed, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take my curling iron tool and I'm just going to curl everything away from my face. And um, once I curl this whole side completely, I will go ahead and you know do the other half off camera and then come back and show you guys what my hair looks like after being curled. So just keep watching and let me know down in the comments which look was your fave. Take my fingers and just finger comb my hair out. 
um, just comb everything like towards, you know, backwards away from the face. And I'm just gonna go in and curl a few pieces that I feel need to be recurled for my look. So I'm just combing everything back. Well, I keep saying combing, but I mean like finger combing everything away from my face. And remember, we already had layers cut in the hair, so it was no need to cut anymore, especially if you a person who wants to, you know, switch your looks up a lot, whether you want to wear curls and then maybe you want to straighten it back, you know, it's just, you know, up to you. But um, just to show you that this look can be versatile, I'm going to go and, you know, touch up some areas I feel need to be touched up and then i will show you the final look video at the end but however i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was pretty lengthy but i wanted to give you guys some different looks with the hair and the color showing you how to color the hair showing you how to create the highlighted wig and of course installing with two different styles so like i mentioned drop me some blonde and some black hearts and let me know which look was your fave. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And don't forget to head over to my site right now to purchase your products. Till next time, beauties.